All right, welcome back. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be working on this guy. The tri-hub failed. What is a tri-hub? This is a tri-hub. This is a, it's called tri-hub because it has three kind of struts here connecting these two rear wheels. And this goes in the back of your sled right here. In one of my previous videos, this thing was dragging like crazy and trying to do skids on all the turns. Uh, thought it was a brake, it wasn't the brake. I did show you how to crack the brake caliper on the side of the trail to get home, but that didn't really help too much. This was the problem. Let me show you why these things are stupid. Here's the tri-hub, here's the axle, and as you can see, it's really hard to turn. Figure, no big deal, just replace the bearings, right? Aha, well, that's where you'd be wrong because some idiot at Articat decided that they would put the bearing in the tool and then mold the plastic around the bearing. They did update this on the later ones. I think the 2015s started coming with replaceable bearing versions. But if you look at this one, there's actually no clip on either side of the bearing. So what you have to do is you have to separate this, pull the axle out, and then you have to use a hole saw. And you use a hole saw and cut perfectly centered and remove about yay much plastic until you get to a metal washer and you can take that out. It sounds like a lot of messing around and a lot of time and I'm not really sure that it's gonna work that well. So what I did was uh, upgrade to something stronger with replaceable bearings. Ooh, that is some quality packing right there. All right, this is the Tri-Hub replacement kit from J&T Products. JTATV is the website. You know, I know that this is undoubtedly some sort of wheel for some sort of commercial equipment, and dude is just buying these, putting in some bearings, and then machining this, but you know what? I think he's doing a great job, and it's easy to order. On top of that, on the factory axle of the Tri-Hub, you have these little cast aluminum parts that go on the end of the axle, like this. And these cast aluminum parts, they're fine, they work okay, but they are brittle, they can break. So when you buy one of these tri-hub replacement kits, you do get a uh, nice billet end cap here. It is threaded on the end, so you can still take a four-wheel kit, which I'm also going to install. So overall, this is just a heavier duty axle, and the bearings are actually a lot larger than the factory bearings. So hopefully this thing should last uh, the lifetime of the sled. So I'm gonna put that in quick and see how it goes. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove the coupler right here, and that's going to allow you to have room to pull the tensioner bolt all the way out, pull that all the way out. Then you loosen the bolts here, and you can eventually wiggle the tri-hub out of there. The, the instructions say to put the uh, side with the clip on the inside. I don't think it'll matter much, but... Let's just do what I say. All right, because I loosened these bolts right here, this allows me to spread the rails a little bit apart which means this should go in fairly easily, but I don't know if I'm able to do it one-handed here. All right, word of warning when you're installing this thing. So you do want to loosen these bolts right here to allow you to spread the rails apart to put this thing in and out. But if you take these bolts all the way out, you're gonna hear a snap, and that means the tension of the spring has moved this thing. It's really annoying to try to get lined up. Again, if you do that, you're probably gonna need to take out your uh, main torsion spring and use a ratchet strap to try to pull it. Whatever, it sucked. I did all that off camera. Um, now this is back in. I'm gonna just slap this thing back together. It should be pretty straightforward now that it's in there. We're gonna leave this loose and what we're gonna try and do now is tighten up the track tension. I don't have an official 12 pound weight but I mean 
it looks like you want like an inch of sag or so. So I'm just gonna try to tighten this thing down and see how it, see how it does. All right, so I think I've got pretty good tension on both sides of the track to check the alignment. What you want to do, what you want to do is just make sure nothing's going to hit. I'm going to run this a little bit. I've tightened both the fourth wheels, so this should be pretty solid. But we're just going to run it for a second and then look at the clip compared to the slider on here. Whatever that is, maybe, I mean, that looks pretty good. Although, looks like a lot more room up here. Let's check the other side. Okay. So we're, we're pretty much on the slider on this side, which means we want to bring the track to this side. So what we're gonna do is tighten the other side to push the track a little bit this direction. All right, so that's about it for the Tri-Hub replacement kit. Uh, it's pretty easy install as long as you don't unbolt that lower suspension arm too much. Um, that kind of doubled the amount of effort it took to do this project, but pretty quick install. The products look pretty high quality. Obviously there is no snow anymore, so I can't, can't do a snow check and see if this solved my problem, but considering how bad the bearings were, I'm pretty sure this was the issue. Um, now it's time to throw this thing on the trailer and get it ready for a long summer hibernation. Anyway, stay tuned. Cheers.